Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the BBK 90mm throttle body fitting all 13 to 18 5.7 liter Ram 1500s. Now this guy right here is going to be a great mod for your truck if you're looking to get a lot more throttle response and a little bit of horsepower at the same time with a great supporting mod. So what do we have going on here? with the BBK 90 mil. Well, this is made out of CNC machine 356 aluminum. It's got the same OEM electronics, and the good part about that is you don't need a tune to run this thing. It plugs right in, and you get to see all the benefits of a throttle body, such as, again, that throttle response and a small amount of horsepower without having to retune your truck. Now, the good part about this is if you did want to retune your truck, you would see even more gains from something like this. Now, other than that, we're gonna get this throttle body next to the factory one side by side in just a second here as soon as we show you how to uninstall this one. And the differences between the two are gonna be few and far between. They're really strikingly similar. They got that same electronics box on the side over here. CNC construction made out of aluminum. This does have a little bit of a nicer machine surface. You got the BBK logo right up front here. So that's all a nice touch. But other than that, they're gonna be pretty much the same exact thing except for one big difference here and that is gonna be the diameter of the throttle body itself. Now we did our measurements here, we worked out some of the calculations. Area of a circle is pretty simple, right? And this 90 millimeter throttle body is gonna be about 25% bigger if you're measuring the area of this circle here. And what that's gonna net for you is just more airflow through this thing more cubic feet per minute is gonna be able to go through this throttle body and basically engines in any car are just big air pumps. The more O2 we could supply into our engine, the more fuel we're gonna be able to burn and that is what's gonna net you that horsepower. Another great benefit about the BBK 90 millimeter here is that it's carb certified. So if you live in a state that is a little bit more restrictive on modifications for your vehicle, this is gonna pass inspection without question every single time. Now I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be a great supporting mod. And what I meant by that is, this is going to be one of the things that is going to come later in the modification lifestyle in your truck, right? To get the most out of this thing, you should probably have a high performance intake manifold, at least a cold air intake, and you're gonna see even more gains, more throttle response, more horsepower. Now, that's not to say this is a bad place to start. However, I would recommend this only if you do have future modifications planned for your 5.7 Hemi. But other than that, this is a really nice piece here. Coming in at around the $500 mark, you really are getting your money's worth you get a very nice OEM built quality throttle body. You get that larger diameter, which again is gonna allow you to push some more air through into your engine, which is gonna net you some horsepower throttle response. Definitely well worth the money here. Even comes with a limited lifetime warranty from BBK. Now the install for this is going to be extremely easy. Definitely looking at a one out of three wrenches here. No modifications or cutting required to get this installed on your intake manifold. Just takes a basic socket set and extension and a ratchet to get this done. At most, I would allot an hour to do this whole thing from start to finish. So without any further ado, let me show you exactly what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install are going to include a ratchet, small extension, eight millimeter socket, and uh, this intake tube is going to be pretty tight. This is a big throttle body, right? So if you plan on using your factory intake, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. And I use this trim panel removal tool right here to sort of pry the intake tube around the throttle body. And also this all with a hook at the end was pretty helpful as well. So the first step to our install here, obviously we have to open up the hood and there's a couple of wiring harnesses we need to unplug, one on the intake tube and one on our stock throttle body. So this one has a tab on the bottom of it to release it, and we can just put that aside. This one over here on the throttle body, you have to pull out this red release. I believe push down on that one as well. And that should pull away as well. So next, we're going to take our eight millimeter socket. I have a small extension here on the ratchet. We're just gonna loosen up this hose clamp around our intake tube and then we're gonna pull that away and put it to the side. So now to get that intake tube out of the way, we're just gonna come over here and remove the top half of the air box. That's got four clips on it, one on the front right there, two on the sides, and there's one in the back. We're just gonna unclip all those. 
And then this hose right here needs to come off as well. That should just pull straight off. And then you should be able to lift this up and out of the way. Now we're gonna remove this big plastic engine cover that just pulls right up at the front. And it should unclip. Just gonna remove this hose here. Let me pull this right off of the truck. Now, once you have that aside, you should finally have a clear shot at the stock throttle body here. It's held on with four eight millimeter bolts. We're just gonna remove those. And these are only threaded into plastic. So if you're using a power tool, um, go very gently. I would highly recommend using hand tools for this step. Uh, Cause if you strip those plastic threads out, you're gonna be replacing an intake manifold. So with this last bolt, our throttle body should be free. You can pull that up and right off of the truck. So now that we have our factory throttle body off of our truck, I figured now would be the perfect time to stop down, put it next to our new BBK throttle body and point out some of the key differences here, which on the surface level do seem to be few and far between. These things both have extremely similar build quality. That aluminum OE factory grade stuff is really nice. The BBK over on this side though does have some nice machine surfaces unlike the factory one. And up top here, we do have a BBK logo uh, where on the factory throttle body, there is just nothing up there. As far as the electronics go, again, the BBK plugs right in and they even look really similar on the sides here as far as the motors and the electronics go. Now. The key difference is going to come in the size of these two circles right here. And it might not be as obvious because we're working with the area of these two circles. Now we know our BBK is 90 millimeters across. That's in diameter. I measured our factory one. We're looking at around 80 millimeters. Doing a quick calculation on the area of those two circles, our new BBK unit is approximately 25% bigger than our factory unit over here. And that's just going to allow you to push more air. You should feel some more throttle response. And we all know engines are just big air pumps, right? So the more air you could get through it, the more power you're going to be making. So this BBK is going to be a huge upgrade. It might not be overtly obvious, but Believe me, we've done the calculations. This circle on this BBK throttle body is approximately 25% bigger than that stock throttle body. So what we're gonna do next is head back to our truck. We're gonna take this BBK throttle body, put it down onto our intake manifold, and tighten it up with those eight millimeter bolts from earlier. Now again, these are only going into plastic threads here, so we're just gonna get that tight so the gasket on the intake manifold can seal. And just like tightening down a tire, we're just gonna jump over straight across and we're gonna tighten this down in an X pattern. Now we can come over to this one that I dropped in earlier. Give that a little bit of pressure. Finally, this corner all the way up here. So that's pretty much the throttle body installed. For the rest of our install here, we're just gonna be rebuilding up our engine bay. We're gonna start with this cover, which goes straight back and then pushes down. Wanna make sure you get that hose seated as well. And that locks into place like so. Now we're just gonna rebuild the rest of our engine bay here. We're gonna start with the top half of the air box. That's just gonna click on like so. You wanna make sure this seals with the teeth on the inside edge of the air box. And then we could reinstall these clips. Two on the side, one on the back. And this one which fell off is going on the front right here.
Then we can reinstall this breather hose right to that fitting on the side of the box. And then we can come over to our intake tube here and force that down over our throttle body. And this is going to put up a fight here because this throttle body is so much bigger than our factory one. So we're just gonna work at this for a little bit. And once you get it around, we're gonna tighten that hose clamp down with an eight millimeter socket. Now I'm just gonna hold this down and tighten the clamp with an eight millimeter socket. So to wrap up this install, we're just going to plug in our electronics and that'll be it. Now that is gonna do it guys for my review and install of the BBK 90 millimeter throttle body fitting all 13 to 18 57 Ram 1500s. Thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one and keep it right here at American Trucks for all things Ram.